So your hygiene is composed of the gateway, which is what transmits to the cloud, the hygiene node or the sensors that go on the hive, which is the uh, bee counter, temperature sensor, and relative humidity sensor, and CO2 sensor in some cases, and then the weight scales, and your solar panel. Okay, so we're gonna install the batteries on the Hygiene solar panel. This is the Hygiene solar panel. It comes with uh, three female barrel connectors to power your hives and your gateway for your Hygiene. And in case of emergency, you're out in the field and you need to charge your phone, you can use this USB connector for that. So the first thing we're gonna do is install the batteries. You're gonna need a number one Phillips screwdriver the ones that you can find in this uh, little sets on the hardware store. I can't see anything, so I need my readers, but here we go. Remove four screws. It's really very simple. If you can see the screws, of course. And number four. Okay, so this is the cover. You wanna carefully remove the cover without losing the screws and if these are magnetic it helps a lot so this solar panel uses uh, lithium ion rechargeable 18650 batteries okay all batteries that say 18650 lithium ion are rechargeable these are the same batteries that tesla uses in their cars currently and you need to put them in the proper direction. If you put them on the wrong direction, you'll burn your solar panel. So the proper direction is the negative, which is the flat side, it goes like here. There are three diagrams, one uh, in a sticker, so you can actually see what you're doing. So that's number one, number two, and number three. All the positives are pointing the same side, okay? Once you do that, you close your enclosure and you make sure it closes properly and you are done. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna install those little supports and you have two options for those supports. And I'm gonna show you how that is. I'm doing all this without editing so you know how long it takes, it's really, not that long, it's pretty simple. Unfortunately, the batteries uh, you will have to get on your own because we can't chip them. But this is the first uh, piece that goes and attaches here. It has a little nut, put it in there, and then see this dented section? It goes like this so you can adjust the angle. Next thing you do is you screw this and it's adjustable so you can adjust the angle properly, right? Now, when you set up your hive, you want this pointing down so it doesn't get wet when it rains. And the proper angle is the latitude of the country or, or the place you're gonna place your hives and facing south. Most of the US will be okay with 40, 45 degree angles. If you're up north, you're gonna to have to have a higher angle, right? You can screw this to the top of your hive, or you can screw this like this into a side wall of your hive. Or if you prefer, and you have no blockage from sunlight, you can insert this thing and this thing, and then put it in your ground, in the ground, in the grass, okay? Now, take a look at this, okay? It means it's already charging the batteries and receiving whatever little solar power we can get through the window. But this is enough to power four hives and your gateway. Hello, Hivegini family. Today, we're gonna show you how to install Hivegini in your hive. We're gonna do it on an empty hive. 
but uh, this technique works well for a live hive. Uh, it should be minimum disturbance to your hive, so don't worry about, about that. But uh, it's just too hot today, so I'm not gonna disturb my bees. Um, but here you go. So you start with the, the sensory unit or the nodes. And the first thing you wanna do is settle this down. You can smoke your hive a little bit. Don't, don't uh, over smoke them and just uh, leave it like that for now. Okay, and then take half of the weight sensors to the other side, like so. Then settle your sensors properly. This is the way the sensors uh, are gonna be and we're gonna put them underneath the hive. So you can do it with help is a lot easier. Uh, I'm alone right now. That is why I'm not using the live hive, but this shouldn't disturb the bees too much, right? It really doesn't matter how far apart they are. The cable length is a good guide. Just make sure all four sensors are pretty much touching. Then you go over the other side and do the same thing, right? Lift the hive, scoot it in. Lift the other sensor, scoot it in, and your weight sensor is installed. Took less than 30 seconds, right? Next, your hive genie, you just place it there. Bees are gonna be able to enter it through there. You don't want to block the entrance yet. Uh, as bees start flying in, they're gonna have, you know, some confusion, but there's still plenty of entry. So the next thing what you do is you prepare to screw this in. Make sure you don't leave a gap here. Otherwise the bees are gonna get in there. So just like that, screw it in. You don't wanna have any gaps on the back either. Get the other screw, put it in there. Three quarter inch wood screws is more than enough. Half inch is probably not enough. Number eight, uh, number six or number four is fine. Okay. And again, this is one handed. If you get um, flat head screws, that's even better than cone head screws. Next step, you gotta book the entrance so we really have to close uh, this gap so bees don't cheat the counter so now we cut this entrance reducer to the proper size next step is to get your temperature sensor inside the hive this is a temperature and relative humidity sensor so you smoke the hive you open it put the sensor right in the middle and close the hive There you go. Your hive genie is installed right now. So the only thing left to do here is the solar panel. This is the solar panel and you can either, you can adjust the angle. You should make sure this points south and the right angle is approximately the latitude of where you live. If you live between uh, in the continental US, roughly, you know, 45 degree angle is about right, facing south. You can do this either by screwing it here or in any surface for that matter, right? Or you can just stake it in the ground, which is what we're gonna do right now. So this is the gateway. This is what receives the data from your hives and sends it to the internet, to the cloud. If you order an LTE unit, a cell phone unit, you need to install the antenna. If it's a Wi-Fi unit, you don't have an antenna, okay? So the signal from the hive is sent to here via Bluetooth, and this can take up to 20 hives. The signal from up to 20 hives 
uh, but it needs to be within about 20 feet of uh, all those 20 highs. So next, you connect the power cable. And this is a very neat thing that we have here. You need to connect uh, power to the hive and to the gateway, right? The gateway can be placed on top of your hive. You can screw it here to the hive like this or like this. And then the only thing to connect it, you have three barrel connectors there. So take the angled, not the straight, but the angle side and connect it in any one of those three and then connect it into the hive um, and into the solar panel right here on any of these, okay? Another thing, another important thing, don't do like I did I'm, and place the connectors facing upwards. You don't want the rain to get in there. So the proper thing to do and I did it because I was not looking because I was showing you in the video, but this is the right position for the solar panel. So the barrel connector is protected from the rain like that. And the unit automatically turns on. This little magenta light, that's if you're gonna hook to Wi-Fi, you need to see this magenta light. And this is how you connect to the hive. Now that to the hive genie, now that it's blinking uh, rapidly, it means it's gathering the signal and it's gonna start sending data to the uh, cloud. But of course we haven't connected power to the hive genie, so we still don't receive anything other than ambient temperature. So we're gonna point our weight scale facing south our solar panel, solar panel facing south. And next thing, we're gonna get power to the actual hive. And again, the curve, the angle one goes to the unit and the straight one goes to the solar panel. You can also connect to here if you need to have your main gateway act as an extension. So you can connect either to the solar panel or to the gateway. The gateway always needs to be connected to the solar panel, but the actual hives can be connected either to the gateway or to the solar panel. You see, it is uh, lighting there. It's getting power. Get close and see those lights, right? So once it starts blinking, you know it's connected and you know it's transmitting. That little blink every so often is like the heartbeat of your hive genie. And it means that it is alive and transmitting. So this unit is already fully connected and it's transmitting completely. We only need to figure out where to place this uh, gateway. Ideally, the higher you have, the longer range your antenna will have. But in this case, this will be a good proper way to put it. Uh, sometimes you don't want to block your uh, antenna from reaching the solar cell antenna. So maybe in this case, we'll just try and, and set it somehow like this. And perhaps we'll set it like that. And we'll just screw it there. And this thing also detaches. So you can screw it and then you can screw this back on and you're done. It's as simple as that. You don't have to do anything else. Your hive unit is now transmitting. Uh, you can probably do cable management. We're gonna shorten these cables because we realize they're very long. But other than that, you're pretty much done. Enjoy your bees and have a great beekeeping experience.